Okay, um, so this is essentially a continuation of our discussion of effective collisions, right? So we can look at, again, if you don't know how to build these structures, um, what was given to us was the reaction equation. It said CH4 <coughs> plus, uh, CH4 gas, I should say, plus 2O2 gas goes to uh, CO2 gas plus 2H2O. And then it actually says, in the product side, it says plus 112 kcals of energy, okay? And I actually put kcals per mole, but let's just erase that. It's essentially the same thing. Um, but anyway, so um, what that means is that it produced that much energy, okay? So when it produces, like, the energy is a product, okay? So when it produces energy, that means delta H is negative, right? Because energy is being released, so it's getting hot, okay? So recall that from our last discussion, okay? But, um, so that was from last discussion. But what we're really concerned about is, first, you got to know how to draw these molecules. And these are just Lewis structures. You don't have to remember Vesper theory for these molecules, you know, what? but it does help, of course, you know, as everything helps if you learn more. But anyways, definitely you got to know how to draw these things. If not, then you can do it. But anyway, so, um, how, what bonds are broken and what bonds are formed? That's essentially what we want to ask ourselves. So, what kind of bonds do we have on this side? Does anybody see a type of bond that you can tell me? A double bond, or, but um, what is that double bond between? How about that? Let's fully describe it. <coughs> so, yeah, there's a double bond between two oxygen atoms, right? So is there only one double bond between two oxygen atoms? There's yes. two of them, right? There's two of them, okay? Why? Because there's two oxygen molecules, okay? Is everybody cool with what I'm doing? So do we have any, so we could say we got two oxygen, oxygen double bonds. Okay, so let's just put a line down here. So we can kind of, you know, tally up these things. Do we have any other types of bonds up there? Uh, pardon? So, yeah, so four CH bonds. So I just want you to write things like this, okay? Because it's kind of just a, to tally everything up. Okay? So, in fact, you didn't even have to write them underneath those. It would probably be better to just, like, write them all at once. Okay? So, what about over here? Do we have any CH bonds? No. Right? So, what must have happened to all those CH bonds? They all got broken. Okay? Is everybody cool with what I'm doing? Okay? But we do have what type of bonds that are bond... Uh, type of bond that's not a CH bond. What type of bond do we have? CO bonds, CO double bonds, right? So how many of those do we have? Two. two. So we got two CO bonds, right? CO double bonds. Were those present in the reactants? So those things must have been what? Formed, right? Is that cool? Is everybody cool with that? Do we have any other bonds that were not present in the reactants that are present in the products? Yeah, OH bonds, right? How many of those do we have? So, one, two, three, four, because we got two oxygen, so remember that. So, four. Did we have any OH bonds at the beginning in the reactants? No. Okay, so those must have been what? Form two. Okay? So, the other thing you want to know is that the breaking of these bonds. Right? Breaking bonds releases energy, <coughs> forming bonds encapsulates energy, or puts it in the bank like we were saying, okay? So what must be happening, what must we know is if this is getting hot, that the breaking of these bonds must be what? Bigger, right? The energy that you get from breaking these bonds must be bigger than the energy you gain from forming those bonds. And that excess energy is released as heat. 
Is everybody cool with that? Okay. So are there any questions about this? So you should be able to do something like this, okay? Can I kill it?